Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to take this hydrangea paniculata right here that I got from uh, Dr. Durr in last summer uh, when I was down there doing some video work with him. And I'm going to start the process of turning it into a tree form, uh, meaning a single trunk, uh, having a single trunk and then a, a, a tree-like uh, shape on the top of it, uh, as opposed to a shrub shape that a, a normal hydrangea paniculata would have. I actually picked this one um, on purpose last year because it has this really super straight uh, one piece right here. I'll show you, I'll give you a close up of that in a minute. I'm gonna be just using some bamboo stakes, uh, not particularly uh, sturdy. I'd probably like to have a sturdier one, so I'm just gonna use two of these thinner ones. And I've got some of the uh, stretch tie uh, tape that you can buy pretty much any garden center, probably box stores uh, as well, that you, we use to uh, tie these up. Um, this this uh, material stretches some, and so it's got some give in it so it doesn't hurt the uh, plants to have them tied up with it to a certain point. At some point you have, do have to take this uh, material off. It will hurt the plants eventually, but it's good for uh, temporarily holding uh, stem in place uh, while you get it straightened out or whatever you're trying to accomplish. I have a Japanese maple over here that I've been training for years uh, as in kind of an S shape uh, pattern. And uh, uh, so you can, you can hold a plant in any shape you want to hold it in. And uh, if you hold it there for long enough, it'll stay. Uh, so what I got to do here uh, is get this plant. Okay, notice it's got the one stem here that I'm going to use as the tree form. And then it's got these pieces over here that I'm eventually just going to get rid of. And so the, plant, the pot's kind of level right there. I'm going to plant this plant in the ground at that angle right there so that that piece is pretty much straight up and down. And then I'm going to stake it absolutely straight. I'm probably going to wait till later in the spring to cut these off down near the base. Uh, so I'm gonna get this in the ground uh, with this piece uh, angled up right here. The reason this is going right here is I think you can see behind me, there's a blue house right here and another house beyond that. I had a neighbor cut some things down here. So I'm gonna try to grow this tree form here and then have it, you know, a single trunk to right here and then coming up and out and even over the roof of the uh, shed right here to block that view. Hydrangea paniculatas grow pretty quickly once they get going. So I'm gonna get this in the ground real quick. So as you can see, what I've done here is I've left this piece uh, straight up and down. Again, these pieces right here are just coming off down to the base. I figure I'll do that after the thing starts leafing out some and uh, um, I won't traumatize it too much today. But uh, again, all of this will eventually go uh, if you if a nursery had wanted to do a tree form, uh, when they rooted these cuttings, they would have just kept one single piece growing the entire time. They wouldn't have wasted their time with all this material over here. But if you're going and you're looking through plants uh, for something that you want to tree form, you just need to find something that's got a straight trunk on it. You can plant the plant, orient the plant in the ground however you need to do it uh, in order to uh, accomplish uh, this task. Again, now I just need to put this... Uh, uh, bamboo uh, in the ground here close to it. I'm going to put one on each side of this stem right here uh, just like that and then I'm just going to tie these up tightly together all three of them uh, going up just like that. Um, you can see that I'm going to put three uh, I'm going to probably tie it like three times on here. This uh, stretch tie stuff is pretty inexpensive really generally uh, I think this roll may be a little old okay so there you go and I'll usually wrap it around twice and then tie it off just like that okay and we'll do that three three times going up here okay And I want to try to get it perfectly straight, so I'm keeping it on one side. I'm basically making a triangle out of the three of them and keeping it on one side so that it runs perfectly straight and doesn't zigzag back through the bamboo. So again, I just planted it in the ground on a lean so that that piece right there was pretty much uh, vertical. 
uh, these other pieces that are down here on the side. Um, once this thing leaves out in the spring and I know it's uh, vigorous and healthy, uh, I will go ahead and uh, cut those pieces off. We're going to get branching along these stems right here. I'm gonna to try to get a little more height uh, out of this thing. I'm gonna take this uh, flower that was here off the top of it, and I'm probably gonna take a piece of the new branch, a new branch that comes out here and continue to train it uh, up to somewhere right in here. And then from there, I'll let it branch. I'll let it branch out. Um, I'll probably get some additional growth down in this area right here, which I'll, I'll take off um, once, it starts, uh, once it starts coming out. But I think we'll get, we're gonna get new growth along the stems you know, um, you know, in several places along here. I just don't know yet. Once it once it comes out in the spring, it'll let me know. But that's basically the process. I've, I've got that thing um, staked solid uh, right there, and uh, there'll be a little bit more training to do on it this spring. So really, almost any plant uh, can be tree formed. I was uh, down on the Gulf Coast recently, and uh, as one nursery who had, they were just tree forming everything. They were tree forming Laura Petalum and Indian hawthorns and you know, even little dwarf ground cover shrubs of all kinds. Uh, they were, you know, just with patience tree forming them. I've got an Encore azalea uh, in the yard that's actually uh, tree formed uh, over there. Hydrangea paniculatas like this are really good candidates because they're fast growing. Uh, they're very, very pliable. I can bend this, you know, in, in, in a lot of different directions without hurting it. And so again, that makes it a really good candidate. Um, things like ligustrum make uh, really, really good tree forms, but they require a little bit more maintenance. You know, the, you know, if it's a super, super fast growing thing, once you get it in the tree form shape, it's going to just try to grow just constantly and uh, require some, you know, some attention, you know, many, many times a year potentially. So I don't want to put the fastest growing thing in the world as a tree form. That's just my personal uh, preference, but hollies also make good choices. But you, well, all you're looking for when you're shopping, if you want to create your own tree form, uh, and, you know, go through this project without, you know, obviously you can buy them uh, plants that nurseries have already tree formed. But if you're interested in doing this yourself, you're just looking for something with a good, straight, sturdy stem. And it doesn't matter how it's angled in the container because you can plant that part straight uh, and then cut everything else off uh, around it. But this is it. So please subscribe to the channel and you can see the uh, progress of this hydrangea paniculata tree form during 2021. Thanks for watching.